Hello everyone, I hope you're okay. Let's start our analysis for gold for uh, 23rd of November, 2023. Let's see what's happening in the news and we have Forex Factory here and you can see Bank Holiday, JPY as well as USD Bank Holiday. So that chapter is closed for USD. We don't have any USD news. But this day and for Euro, I have impact at 15, 8, 8, and 8.30. And 9 a.m., we got a medium impact. 9.30, we got GBP. So these, if you trade in GBP, but normally we trade in gold, so we're more interested in USD pairs uh, news. If you trade on JPY pairs, the bank call it uh, in JPY Japan, and G, G, GJ can give you maybe probably good move, especially when there's news effect as well. So keep an eye on that. Uh, if you trade in GJ, now let's go on to our um, chart. This is a four. Uh, let's let me go into four hour chart. Here's a four hour chart, and you can see it's a reversal here with double top and daily. You go in daily, this double top has been formed. There was a rejection from this level, this double top here, and now double top can be very interesting and can give good move. However, we know that the gold is strongly bullish, as we I just several times we discussed it, discussed this, and this is a weekly, and you know that in weekly. Uh, it it was rejected from here, and now we're looking for the move to the upside. However, in daily, we've seen a rejection here. Uh, and sorry, uh, in the weekly, we are still uh, seeing uh, week, the re week is still running. And daily, we did see rejection here yesterday, trading day. Uh, and what next? So for that, we go for next, next, uh, what next? We go to four hour chart and you can see this is auto block here, this uh, this level here. And uh, that's why price is rejecting to the upside earlier on because of this double top in Delhi, as I said, I uh, showed you, uh, market came down and now we're definitely expecting the price to move to the, this level around 1995 level. So once, if this level is broken, then we can expect for the move to the upside and maybe break this level around the 20, around 2010 level, roughly. That's, however, if this level breaks to the downside, the next target is 1968 and then the target in 1960. So these are the targets. However, looking, into the fair value gap. This is a fair value gap. The first target in uh, 1980, in fact, it will break to the downside. And then 1960, 1980 is a, because of the fair value gap. And this is the golden uh, ratio level, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.61 of the Fibonacci levels. If I draw the Fibonacci, then you probably have the better clear idea. So this is the, uh, the 0 0.56 uh, Fibonacci level, and this is 0 0.38 level, so 0, uh, 1980, and uh, also the fair value gap area here as well. So we can definitely see the market come to this once this is broken. However, what the market shows at the moment, it, it may, especially in four hours, we may test this level before it coming to the downside. To this 0 0.38, 0 0.5, or 0 0.6. These are the important levels. However, if the maybe if very bearish news come, then we can expect a move to the downside as well. So best way to trade would be look in the smaller smaller time frame. We are day traders. Look in the smaller time frame. If you find any opportunity, then buy trade. We had opportunity here with this big candle uh, and 
in fact, once this uh, big candle, 15 minute candle was formed, and the retracement, we had this opportunity here. Also, this, there's a risky trade here on this level here. Because when this kind of levels are formed, it's always possible. And a lot of times, market comes back to the, this final level. In this case, this level. So we have this uh, end of end. Uh, on this, I would not say this next candle will be a very nice candle to take a buy trade. However, this big candle here, 15 minute, would uh, indicate the buy trade on the pullback here. However, if you look in the smaller time frame, we may find something even better. And uh, looking at this, as you can see this is kind of head and shoulder pattern. It's not exactly head and shoulder, but similar to head and shoulder. So this is how the market moves, and I'm expecting the prices go to the upside now, at least to the four hour. Uh, level here, as I mentioned, this fair value, fair value gap area, and this is the level. And also, you can see that. Uh, let me put this level again here, 1995 level. Also, we see this is M pattern, and when M pattern form, this this neckline is tested usually. So. That's it what we can see now. And uh, if you combine your probability with Dixie, what happened in Dixie? Dixie has been rejected. It, it was bullish and it has been rejected. Hence, you, you see that uh, um, coal was bearish today. So it's rejected. Uh, that means it's possible that it may come down, which means the gold may go up. This is a daily chart. We can further dig down in smaller time frames. So Dixie, uh, there's no movement in Dixie at the moment because uh, for some reason, Dixie doesn't move, uh, is, uh, is move uh, when the market opens. It's, it's probably is, is a little bit behind uh, the mark, uh, from the market. And I don't know the exact reason, but uh, the market for Dixie hasn't opened yet, in other words. All right. So I hope this is useful and uh, I hope you have a good trading day. Good day, good day, good night, wherever you are. Bye-bye.